We have Warriors goalie Richie Lawson here with us. Richie, disappointing result in the end, wasn't it? After at one stage it looked like we had the game won. Yeah, it really was. I mean, they had to score three goals to win the game in the third period. Just silly turnovers. Hopefully it's just because we're it's fresh into the season. But playing a couple of lesser teams and we think the world beat us. It's just it's not going to get gifted to us. We mentioned that in commentary, actually, that perhaps the expectation is that it's the Warriors League to lose, but really against teams such as Solway and Solihull, who we play later in the season, you've got to earn the right to beat them, haven't you? You're dead right. I mean, they've got a good goalie there in Rusty. They've got a decent forward call. Um, we've shown it in the past against some of the the, uh, the teams that have went into the higher league now in Hull and Sheffield. Teams can turn you over, and it's just effort. And I think that we've really got to take a look in the mirror. I think some of the lads, like the fitness is absolutely appalling. And we're not going to waste ice time doing fitness drills. We've got to take it on warm backs, get on the rowing machine, get on the crossfits. Do you think that was the main difference in that final period? I don't know if it was necessarily fitness, and you can put your finger on that. I think that it's possibly more a case of just not enough winning attitude. Um, as I say, it's not going to get given to you. You've got to go out and earn it. And they just wanted it more tonight, and credit to them. Yeah, it was a good comeback, from certainly from their point of view, disappointing from ours. Two sides meet again next weekend up in Dumfries. So what are you expecting to happen in that one? Or what do you think needs to change ahead of uh, ahead of that game? Well, right now, I mean, they're going in thinking home ice advantage. They're, they're going to put on a really strong performance and come out the gate hard. They know that we can be turned over. I'm just really disappointed for Ross as well. He's a cracking lad. He's fitted in really well with the dressing room. And that was our game to win for him. Yeah, you could tell he really wanted it. Well, hopefully we can put that right next week up in uh, up in Dumfries. But uh, again, next weekend, we also have uh, a game against Sutton here. So that's, a, a, I guess, a good opportunity to get back to winning ways. Well, it is. I mean, let, let's not catastrophize it. I mean, it stings. It was an overtime loss. They came back from behind. But ultimately, we've got a point. It still stings now, but it's a point at the end of the day that could pay dividends towards the end of the season. But we're looking at it as a drop point. Yeah, understandably so. Um, talking about overtimes and shootouts, what is it you think? Because the Warriors have still never won a game that's gone into gone into overtime or a shootout. Do you know? Do you, can you put your finger on what it might be? I think it's nerves, and I think it comes down to it. And sometimes you have a high, you've got it, or you haven't. Don't care, I don't think it's a case that we haven't got it. I just think it's a lot of nervous energy and people aren't channeling it right. Disappointing result tonight, but onwards and upwards and uh, hopefully we can bounce back next weekend. Exactly. I mean, it was a great game for the fans to watch there as well. It would have been an entertaining night hockey for the crowd. Uh, so we've just got to buzz off the crowd. Let's get back into it strong and there's no reason why we can't bounce back. Thanks, Richie.